This was my first jump school back with Marty for the whole year and since November, basically. So he was really good. I decided to see how he went and uh, he really impressed me over this water. First time looking at it, first time he's jumped it without me having to go over it by hand. So yeah, I was really proud of him this session and I couldn't have asked for more in his confidence. Oh my god, I was so proud of Marty. He normally is very like... I haven't jumped him a full course since probably November and I've just kind of been taking my time getting back into it and they got a little bit sore at one point, had to treat him. So, you know, just getting back into things, I guess. Um, and we've been working a lot with the water tray and just water colored objects. So he gets used to them and he feels confident. And normally I'd like walk him on it, like walk him through it with like by hand. And then we'll jump it like, as it is and then maybe put some poles on top of it and today i was like well no we might not be able to see a water tray you know until we get into the course or what if it's like sitting at you know the base of a double and i could show it to him but he needs to just not react to it the first time he's seen it and today even though it like started off as like literally 40 centimeters on the ground i'm very proud of her i'm very very proud of him he still went he like had a little like look but it was a look and like uh careful sense not in like a spooky sense because normally he'll be like turning the corner and he'll already be like sucking back you know so he felt very confident very easy i was super happy with him here yeah where it starts to like flick up is usually my indication of where it should okay. be i'm normally like a bit wider than my hand yeah because i've done it to the width of my hand before and then it's been too short and i've been like oh crap <laughs> Yeah. Lauren's graciously cutting manes for me. Mm. We don't pull manes here, we don't no, like that. I just can't do it. Like, no, I tried I to learn, I, I just couldn't do it. I see someone ripping handfuls of hair out of my head, so... No. <laughs> thank you, oh, th thank you. So fresh up here. I, isn't it? Just a, I told you! <laughs> this is why I couldn't wait till tomorrow, like... <laughs> I'm cutting lumps out of it. Oh boy. Very good boy today. Thank you for the licks, thank you sir. No, no.
And then for Momo, she felt really nice. Like she was very fresh and very forward. But then I just kind of felt as we were going through the right turn after we did our first course that she was really like pushing against me. Even if I was pushing against her with my inside leg, like Lauren can easily tell you. So I was like, you know what? I know how to ride her. I'm going to be fine. Like it doesn't feel right to keep jumping her right now. And surely enough, um, she had a pelvis misalignment. So Lauren being the lovely therapist that she is, uh, treated Momo. So she's like all good to go now. Friday, we are off to the show. And for that, I'm really excited. First show back since probably July, just cause I've taken my time to like reassess what I've wanted to do with my life. Still writing out and finishing my masters. Just lots of things going on. So I have lots of exciting content and news for you guys. Holly's coming soon. So it's gonna be great. Oh, he's so sweet. Thank you. <laughs> so like, cute. Oh, we're just low key guessing. And... Look at this cow. Look at this baby. Oh, so cute. So cute. Ready for a ride. Absolutely beautiful day in the city of Paris. Wow. Hello. Hi. Hi. <laughs> You're so cute. Kisses. You can have kisses. They have cushion on my cheek. She is so cute, but also like, disgusting. Hi, can I please see your face? Look at that. I'm gonna chop chop the mane today. I did, Lauren did Marty yesterday, but she'll be done. Later. What a good girl. Blanket needs a wash too. Last session done before the show tomorrow. His main job, very nice. He just needs to get this clipped off. Hi. Hi. As a part of our everyday routine. Got, got an airbag on. It's really gross at the moment. Clip on for every ride. End of the ride means done clip. And then good girl. Oh yes, big scratch. Three red heads on his back. I was gonna say Hello everyone. So this is actually my first show back with Marty since July and We've been working really hard to get his confidence back up because almost exactly a year ago He started well actually yeah just over a year ago rather he started stopping with me um, for reasons we couldn't really figure out and when we we're at home he just lost a bunch of confidence and I also had lost confidence with him. So I gave him some, like a bit of a break last year. So yes, yeah, it's just a one turn around at a national. Um, didn't really jump in the course since a little bit before, but yeah. I really liked this round. It was our first 110. I say that because I've only ever jumped him 120 up. Um, but uh, yeah, I was kind of worried he was gonna stop and look at a lot of things, but he took it really in his stride. And he felt really confident. And because the fences was, were so small, he was really dragging me down all these distances. You can see me work like 100% down all the lines. Um, but he was really good. He felt really confident. In the ring, he felt really relaxed. He didn't feel like he was really scared or spooky, which was really nice. It felt like I was going to get my confidence back and he got a lot more back than I thought. Um, so yeah, it was super nice through that double. It's a long way around on the left, and this is only really the second time we've used this bit at a show. It's a custom made bit, um, and I love it, it works really well. And this, I believe, is supposed to be a normal seven, but we made it really steady because his stride is just massive, and I'm not the biggest human. Getting him back is a very difficult job, but we somehow manage. 
And yes, if you see a black jacket, it's because I'm wearing an airbag on top because it's good. So yeah, I think that round was really, was a good round. We have a vlog. We are waiting for the one to start. We both just jumped on one's hand. Love to stay around this very, very exciting. She was very amazing, very happy with her. Marty didn't stop. Marty didn't stop either. So, so far, so good. Not good enough. And I didn't make any big mistakes on Didi, so no. good all round. And I, hopefully we can say the same for the one Marty. But we'll check back with you guys later. Well, we'll find out. We have Charlie. <laughs> <laughs> So this was my 120 round in the exact same competition at the national. Um, they really built to height here. It's not common that I go to a national and think like, holy shit, that's a big fence. Um, and I'm not sure if it's because the wings were really small or they actually built to height. But um, this felt like a massive 120 and I hadn't jumped in this big since some time ago in the last year. in them because it's you know it's tight for him. Jump that back or really nice. I really held my left leg through this turn because it was a tall vertical and it was blue and kind of water shaped. So yeah, this five came off really short even though I came in with a very wide approach. Um, this turn I just kind of lost a little bit of canter right around here and this fence looks a little bit strange so he just kind of dropped his shoulder left and went around the park. And to be honest with you, as I was going around that corner and I lost the canter, I thought he was going to stop, but I was like, oh, I'm going to trust him and see what he does, and if he helps me, and he didn't. So just pull him back around, I gave him a little tap of the stick, it looked a lot bigger than it was, um, but just to make sure he doesn't turn left, because that is the shoulder he drops, because he kind of had no excuse at all, he was kind of gave up on me, but I also, it's like he asked a question and I couldn't answer it, and so he was like, yeah, okay, I'm not going to try then. Um, so... Yeah, I just had to be a little bit more confident. I'm not really mad about that. That was more for my sake to see where he was at with his education. He came back around and literally looked at it at the exact same point. Rode a little bit strongly, like lifted my stuff a little bit. And yeah, and this eight rode really nice this double. I think he jumped in and out. That was super. Um, had a problem with change here, but then don't worry, so fixed it, solved it, great. I think this oxide looked really nice. Steady, still some two, still two up a little bit. But yeah, I'm not mad about that. Returning the horse box. Lauren's driving that, I'm driving this. Please, hot water. There we go. Rinsing out the box. Lauren's side job when she's not on horses. One of these at home. Look how happy you are. Great. I've called the vet out. Yeah. <laughs> to see what's Living wrong with my Ireland. horse. It's top class service. We were from Ireland and Australia to see um, what's wrong with my horse. <laughs> Diagnosis, <laughs> lack of scratches. Oh, okay. I can tell his have been done oh, good. Oh, look at all these people on big bay horses. Yeah. Lauren and big bay gelding, Mare, Holly over there, Jackie and Marty. Oh, look at this horse. Hello, everyone. So just had a good jump school with, oh my god, it's too many people. Lauren and Gabbana and Dali and Holly. So it's very exciting. It's our first day here. So we've had a nice little jump school. Help them out with a few things in preparation for our first show in the coming week.
Um, I'm gonna give Momo a little jump school. Just over 110, 120, 125 fences, nothing crazy big. Um, just because it is her first show back in a hot second, so just taking like our time to get back into things. I don't really expect her to do more than 120, 130 at the show anyway, and maybe o even only two days just for her fitness. So yeah, I'm gonna go jump school now. It's a beautiful day. Getting some therapy from Lauren right before the show. Let's make sure everything is good. Just your typical day at the stable with Holly and Lauren. Sunday right before the show season, so taking some time to relax and to take a walk around my neighborhood in Paris and just kind of reflect. So it's kind of later in the evening now, it's like 6.30. But I am gonna go find a nice place to sit near the Sacre Coeur and journal my thoughts and feelings for the upcoming show season and to see where we're at. Can't complain for a Sunday. I'm ending my Sunday feeling very grateful. I had a lot of time to reflect and to write down my thoughts for the upcoming season. And I'm going to keep trying to get all that out there. I have a lot of fear and nerves <clears throat> from just my lack of confidence. So, yeah, I'm using the walking time as meditation and yeah, to just be more present, I guess. I feel a little bit nervous, but in an exciting way. Like this is the first time that it's not guaranteed that I'm gonna get what I want. I have to work really hard for it. So I'm really excited to see what, I, what happens this week moving forward. So <clears throat> I hope you guys enjoyed this video for the season preparation of 2023. Let the first show of the season begin.